Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today I'm here in Korea with Eat Your Kimchi. We have Martina and Simon and you can check out their awesome YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know them, I'm just going to ask them a few questions first so you can get to know them. Oh. And then I'm going to get to taste some Korean food. I'm a little bit nervous. You should be. <laughs> yep, you definitely oh, yeah. should be. So they have selected some things to taste but we'll get to that in a minute. So first mm. of all you guys, why did you start a channel and why are you in Korea? How did you get here? Yes, we don't quite look Korean, do we? No. Kind of seems odd, right? Uh -huh. uh, we've been in Korea for over seven, around seven years around now, seven I should years. say. Yeah. And we're originally from Canada. And uh, originally we came here to teach because we were right. teachers in Canada mm -hmm. and we came over here to teach. Together? And then, like you knew together. each other already? Yes. yes. Yeah, we got married before we came to Korea, actually. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and then we started uh, vlogging from day one, but we didn't expect anyone to watch our videos, which is for our family. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, so about two years later, yeah. three years later, Simon was able to quit teaching and just take up YouTube full time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And now we have our studio here in the coolest part of Seoul and we have... Um, some awesome people working with us as well. We make lots of fun videos about us in Korea and traveling around the world I've as well. I've watched yeah. a few of your videos. Thank you. And you've got some different types of videos. So, so yeah. usually on Monday, we talk about uh, Korean pop music. On Wednesdays, we add to people's questions about Korea. Mm -hmm. On Thursdays, we do like food programs. So we'll travel to a cool restaurant or we'll mm -hmm. order some Korean food and we'll show people how to eat it because eating Korean food is sometimes it's challenging and the tastes are very different. Yeah. And then on mm -hmm. Saturdays, we find some of the weirdest, quirkiest things around Korea. Korea and we play with them. For example, I the underwear hat yes. challenge. Yes. <laughs> and go! Yeah! They're good videos. Check those ones out. They're good fun. Thank you. Um, okay, so should we get started? Yes. With some I'd like to say you're lucky that we didn't force you into the panty hat challenge. Yes. yes. Could have done, but because you're a cooking channel and you deal with usually sweets, mm -hmm. we wanted you to try um, the Korean version of sweets. Lovely. Uh -huh. And we're hoping that you could uh, guess or try to figure out what the sweets are. Made with of. your refined mm -hmm. palate, <laughs> since you are so experienced. Yeah. That it's going to be hard because it's probably different ingredients. But I'll give definitely. You a yes. um, so we went to a local bakery. Uh, uh -huh. Quite fresh, everything is. Um, and we what was I Yoda there for a second? Quite what fresh everything is. <laughs> uh, but we didn't get you any cakes or anything. Mm -hmm. So we're just kind of looking on the everyday thing that a re regular cream person might have. Uh -huh. Correct. And then we have some cream candies as well with flavors that you probably never heard of before. Yes. That's what I'm worried about. All right. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You may smell it or do whatever you want to try to figure out mm -hmm. what it is. Taste. It smells wind. like it has egg in it. Okay. Okay, maybe. That's it. <laughs> I will reveal uh, nothing. Uh, Are you guys going to eat some as well? Or is it all No, me? we've mm -hmm. had our fill. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I do sweat. Yeah. Any guess of what that is? Hmm. Some sort of yeasty bread dough. Mm. That's how it's marketed. It's, it's, it's got a sign. It's yeasty bread, bread dough. dough. <laughs> And everyone's like, oh, oh I'm really into that. I'll have time. three easy bread doughs, please. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's sweet. It's actually quite nice. Mm, it tastes yeah. like a sweet bread. Yeah. You I should like show it. everyone the inside mm. because it's quite, like, it looks like it's going to be solid, but then mm. it's but actually. It's, not, it's really yeah. good. Yeah. There's a herbal, very distinctive it? flavor, though. That It's a bit like the shoe pastry that you use in. Um, oh, yeah. Flares. So close. Yeah. yeah. But it's not filled with custard. No. It's not filled with anything. What no. is this stuff in the middle? Air. Mm. Air. You air. Know, this isn't air. It's like a chip bag in which like, you get three chips <laughs> you and open all it air. And you're That's, like, oh. They made it in pastry format. Yeah. What is it? It's actually a, a chewy sesame bun. Yeah. So it's actually made not with a yeasty one, but with um, like a rice flour. Rice yeah. flour. So the rice flour in Korea is really like glutinous, which uh. is totally a Korean word, I realize, because yes. no one says like things are glutinous. Uh. It's kind of like stretchy. Very sticky. So like a lot yeah. of like Korean bread is also made out of rice flour, and you'll find that it's really dense and gluey if you try Bouncy almost? Yes. Maybe that's a better so word. So would that for make it, it gluten free? Yeah. Oh, actually, there is a lot of gluten free stuff in Korea, but uh -huh. they don't market it that way because they don't think about it. They're just mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's rice flour. It's rice rice flour. flour. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it would be gluten free. Hey. That is awesome. You gluten try that. free <laughs> sesame I'm bread. I'm glad you liked it. That's yeah. awesome. I like that. And those are black sesame seeds in there. I'm not going to eat the whole thing or I'm not going to be able yeah, to eat You'll be yes. too stuck. So, okay. specimen number two. Casualty because it was so fresh. This looks like the stuff you get at the bread shop. I have to move that so you can actually see. Mm -hmm. Okay. The bread shops in Australia. But oh. they're not. Australian bread shops. Okay, so okay. like an Asian mm. bread shop. Mm -hmm. This this one kind of goes across a bunch of different cultures, actually. Mm. <laughs> you were not. You took a big bite. <laughs> this That's is gonna really. Take a while. This is almost one of the most common ingredients. Uh -huh. Um, and we'll tell you. Well, let's see if you can guess it first, and we'll tell you a joke. Do that you we know have. what the ingredient is? That was clever, giving me an empty one first. Yes. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh. Don't think I didn't plan that. <laughs> 
<laughs> what that's awesome. Want. Now I'm trying to figure out what that is. That is not Nutella. Disappointing. It's not Nutella. Okay. <laughs> Funny you should say that because <laughs> this ongoing joke that you have as a foreigner is you see something that has that and you're always thinking it's chocolate oh, or it's Nutella. Chocolate. You're like, oh, and you bite in and then no, you realize it's, it's not. Is it so. a of bean one. paste? Oh. oh. I think that counts. It is, yeah it's, yeah. it's a red bean paste. Oh, there you go. Red beans are a very common ingredient for Korean desserts. Mm. So there's actually like a Korean ice cream with like red bean topping on yes. it. It's called pot. Pot, like yes. Like P-A-T, wow. your tea yeah. kind of goes flat. flat. Like pot. in between your tongue. Yeah. yeah. It tastes a bit like, you know, in Mexican food, and you have those refried beans mm -hmm. that yes. are mashed up uh. with sugar added to it. There yeah. you go. Which is exactly. Yeah. Do you really actually great. like that flavor though? Because it can be kind of surprising. I think I like the flavor, but not the texture so much. It's uh, kind of, in my mind, it's confused. It's mm. like a, a savory texture, uh -huh. but then a sweet flavor. So it's yeah. kind of confusing. Yeah, the textures of cream pastries really throw us off as mm. well. They're, they're not what I'm used to when it comes to like breads or croissants or baguettes or whatnot. So, yes. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, the next one is next one of my one? favorites. Now the question is, do I take a big bite or a little bite? Mm. <laughs> Whole thing in your mouth, one <laughs> shot. <laughs> this is called um, guabegi. Guabegi. Guabegi, that gives me no clue. Yep, I thought mm -hmm. I could help you Looks out. deep fried and it has sugar on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, this yes. is one of my all-time favorite Korean desserts. And it's and light, so I'm mm -hmm. assuming there isn't red bean paste in the middle. I don't know. <laughs> Korea is very surprising. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's like a donut. Yes, yes, exactly. This is pretty much Korea's equivalent to a donut. Yeah, Wabigi yeah. means yeah. like twisted, like yeah. twisted donut. Instead of having a circle, they like make a long strip and then they twist it up, deep fried, covered in sugar. Yeah, mm, mm -hmm. that's good. So yeah. this one, if it's um, a bit on the crunchy side, might be made with like a, like crunchy, chewy, could be like a rice flour mix. Mm -hmm. yep. um, the ones that are really chewy are just rice flour. And yeah. I used to get them in the marketplace near my work. Mm -hmm. And it would be uh, like chanon, which is like a, basically like a dollar. Less than a dollar. Less than a dollar yeah. for like five. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the woman was just like this amazing, you know, like like rolling Thank it out you. and yeah. just going like, and we'd like, and then she would just dump it in. And uh -huh. do you have a film of that? Is that in one of your videos? Oh, I think it's We should have. But if we don't, yes. Next uh -huh. time. Next yeah, time. Next time. Next time. Next channel somewhere. Yeah. We want to yeah. see them. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Oh. So what is this called? Okay, this is a uh, goguma, and then I'm going to finish the word in English, egg tart. Right. Mm -hmm. um, that kind of gives it away. But what's the I goguma? Think, I think it's an egg tart. <laughs> oh, <laughs> ding, ding, you can tell ding, just by looking at it. Looking at it. Uh -huh. Congratulations. It's the wrong gala for an egg tart. So yes. the goguma is something chocolate colored, maybe? Mm, <laughs> we shall see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm worried. It could be pu like pumpkin. It looks like a pumpkin pie. Too bad we didn't have the microphone right up here to get all that <laughs> crunch. It was like. <laughs> mm. Okay, so what do you think okay. this uh, this flavor is? What is goguma? It's a bit bean pasty texture again. Mm -hmm. We're like a puff pastry, puff pastry on the outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But the puff pastry tastes different than what you're used to with puff pastry, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Depends if it's a homemade puff pastry. It's a bit mm -hmm. more dense. But the um, the inside tastes like the same texture. Like it's got some sort of bean. But it's not a bean. It's not a bean. It's not a bean. No. Oh, well, that's hard. And it's not a rice type thing, is it? No. no Goguma it is hard. sweet potato. Oh. Yes. Yeah, now that makes sense. I should have asked if you have any makes allergies sense. to sweet potatoes before. Uh -oh. No, I, I don't. <laughs> okay, good. I don't. I'm gonna um, taste sweet potatoes are potatoes, really, really popular in cream oh, cooking. Yeah. So I, I wanted to buy you a sweet potato cake, which mm. that might sound really strange. Mm. It's literally like actually like fluffy vanilla and then mm. sweet, sweet potato um, yeah. cream, and then on top they yeah. put like a dried sweet potato slice yeah. that's kind of covered in like a honey glaze. Mm. Um, they but, make sweet potato lattes. They make yeah. sweet potato like when you order a pizza, they actually put a like, sweet, sweet potato, potato mousse on it as well. Sweet potato yeah. Are in so many things. So here. I was closer before I tested it when I said it looked like a pumpkin pie. Yes, yes. Yeah. It, it is Almost. a bit more like that. Yeah. Mm. But I think when you, when you say egg tart, then you expect egg tart. So yeah. then you mm. expect that texture of custard as not yeah. like that at all. It's no. more pumpkin pie yeah. type texture. Definitely. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, this is another mm. egg tart, but another <coughs> very, very popular dessert ingredient. Mm. Um, if you haven't noticed by now, a lot of cream desserts are painfully healthy. Mm. Even though dessert is not <laughs> yes. healthy, mm. no. all the desserts always somehow sneak in a vegetable. They're trying I'm to always pretend like, to be healthy. They yes. actually did a study and said if you have a fruit or a vegetable mm. in a dessert or cake, people eat more of it because they think it's healthy. So therefore, eating more of it, oh. you just haven't done any good there. Well, so. that's like me and pie because I'm a pie fan over cake. Uh -huh. And yep. I'm like, well, at least it's the healthier choice. <laughs> it's got apples. In it. There's lemon in this it's lemon meringue. Pastry. Pastry's really high fat. So. No, it's got, that's got <laughs> dairy in it, which is a part of a balanced diet, right? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Okay. That is nice. Oh, you like this mm -hmm. one? All right, that's good. Uh -huh. New favorite. Oh, 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 we have a new winner. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is awesome. So the bottom you can see is the egg tart. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just zoom in there on that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So this one. 
It's like the same puff pastry, mm-hmm. the egg tart, and then some sort of nut. Is it a nut on top? Is it like is. A caramel? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But what the nut is? That's this the nut is the most popular nut used in Korean stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm, I should have researched before I came. <laughs> and it is not a peanut because we don't mm. want to kill you. Yes. Mm. Important. Mm. Mm. It tastes a bit like a cashew nut, but you wouldn't have a lot of no, cashew. cashew. It's the wrong shape for a cashew. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm going to guess it. It's a Christmassy one when it comes to Canada, at least. Something you'd like open at Christmas time. I don't know why. I feel it's Christmassy to me. Mm. And it's not a chestnut roasted by the open no. fire. Mm-hmm. No, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. It is a, a walnut. A walnut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hodu but it doesn't is... have the brown bit. Have they peeled them? I guess they peeled them and yeah. crushed them. Mm-hmm. And walnut gets into everything when it has no business sometimes to <laughs> yes. be in there. Mm-hmm. Like the crust is made from walnut. Mm-hmm. And you're like, no. Mm. You don't like walnut? I like walnut, but that sometimes when you want like a really naughty dessert, you don't mm. want that dessert to feel healthy in any healthy. way. Healthy, yeah. yes, yeah. that makes it. Well, I like that one. I'm going to eat oh. the rest of yeah, that one. Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> We're going to get you to try some of the candies now with more exciting <laughs> ingredients in these. You might want to keep something, something you enjoy on hand. Just in case. Yes, maybe a palate Perhaps, cleanser. Just yes. keep that here if Wait you want to wanna... refresh yourself. Uh, <laughs> there you, you might want to do that. Okay. Okay, we're going to start with the red one first. I thought that's and they... let's go let's go big first. Well, okay. okay. I'm really Let's make a choice. Okay. <laughs> okay. These two are both questionable. Yeah. So, okay. which one of these? We've had both of these before in our yes. lives, by the way. So, we're not forcing you into something we've never so had. So, you've tasted them. Yes. yes. I'm going to go the white one because okay. you said the red one. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do not read the wrapper because it might have it. an English translation it's on it. It's in Korean. I think there's yeah. an English translation below it. Okay, I won't read okay. it. I just, I okay. less so is Korean. Okay. Right. Keep in mind, this is candy. This is a candy. But I will say this isn't like, you know, all the young, hip kids are eating this candy. Uh-huh. This is more like on the traditional side. Yeah. Right. So, who is eating this candy? I feel like grandparents are forcing it upon you're not allowed to eat this unless you're 60 years old. Apparently. I'm not 60. I can't oh, eat it. Oh, that's too bad. For today. <laughs> we, will. we will pretend. Mm. Yes. It's you're very okay? good. Oh. oh. What does it taste Amazing. like, though? Hmm. What would you guess I don't think you could is? possibly guess this. She guesses it perfectly. It's a bit like a butterscotch, but it's kind of a bit saltier. Yes. I like how your salt voice is one of the ingredients. The you're like, it's not uh-huh. that. And then you would like, ah. Salt is definitely one of the yes. ingredients, but the other one is... It's not a caramel then. No. no. It's bamboo. This is bamboo no salt. Way. Yeah. You're eating bamboo salt candy. But it's sugar predominantly with salt. Yes. Yeah. And bamboo, of course. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's actually a very popular toothpaste flavor. They don't use mint here. They really? use bamboo yeah. salt for toothpaste. No, food. that's not. Oh. Yeah. I'm glad you like that one. Do you like them or do you like them? I despise that really? one. Yes. I don't like it. Do you? But no. not as much as these ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. I think that one is slightly refreshing. Like, we should yeah. go for the red one now. The red one? I okay. think we got to go for the red one. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. There you go. Thank you. I got this candy delivered to me um, from one of my coworkers almost every day. I could smell that before I even put it in ah. the pit. We smell it too. Mm. Do you know what that smell is? No, I'm trying to figure it out with the okay. taste. Yeah. Mm. We have a description for it, which is not actually what it is, but we say that it tastes like the tastes smell like of something. a farm. It tastes like something that I already, but not a food thing, but I'm trying to think, what is that? Uh. It tastes really unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Unusual mm. being mm. the key sensitive phrase yes. there, yes. Mm. It's supposed to be good for your health. Yes. And it's quite expensive in Korea mm-hmm. and um, other Asian countries too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ingredient in this is like sold in like luxury boxes. It's mm-hmm. making my tongue numb. That's a good thing. <laughs> it's Soon working. you're going to lose all feeling in your face. You're going to wake up in a few hours and yep. you're going to be missing a kidney. Yes. 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 In Korea. <laughs> yes. Well, I could smell that in here right now Whoa. as well. Let's go ahead and okay. remove that Tell one from the is. fixture. What is it's that? It's red ginseng. Mm. Uh, yeah, so good for your health. Red ginseng. You can get it in tea. I'm not yeah. exactly not sure. what it tastes like though. There's something, what does it taste like? It tastes, it tastes like, like, like childhood farm. misery is what That's it tastes what it like. Is. That's yeah. how I'm describing it. Some other thing, I can't taste that straight away. Those You're thinking probably it. like a, mm. it's like a root vegetable or mm. um, maybe like a turnip or a parsnip. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of that kind of thing as well. Mm. It smells like something non-food to me, that thing. Yeah. Medicine. A farm. Mm. A farm is, is what I think yes. it tastes mm. like. <laughs> like hay yes. and goats. Yeah. Mm. And, you mix and that sheep. all up in a blender and then there you go. You got the taste of ginseng. Yeah. Kind of chemically taste though, I reckon. Yeah. It's a bit, yeah. This one is not that bad. And this it's is just the last the one, last we one we're going to give you. Okay. Yes. It's just um, unique and very much like a Korean, a uh-huh. Korean thing. Used in a lot of cooking or drinks or uh-huh. like across Both the... Both in savory and sweet foods in Korea. Mm-hmm. It doesn't look good. No. <laughs> mm. I'm not loving it, but can oh. I guess what it is? 
Wait a minute. Let me. Okay. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If you bite into it, then you get more of a. <laughs> Do I want? <laughs> there are no insects yes. hiding in here or anything. Yeah. Korea is not into that kind of thing. So. Nope. What is it? Is it, it is. It is actually. <laughs> uh, pardon me, Siri. No one asked you. No one asked you, Siri. Can we unplug that? I think. Siri's trying to have a conversation yeah. with yeah. himself. He's trying to help me. Yes. He is. <laughs> trying like, to Siri's trying to help me. Google that for you. Like, shut it, Siri. Let me save you from <laughs> this Don't atrocity. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, this is actually black sesame seeds mm, and black yes, soybeans as well. Soybeans, soybeans I wouldn't sesame. have picked, but sesame I can taste. Yeah. So <laughs> most people think soybeans are uh, white, but Korea has white and black and uh-huh. all these different rainbows of soybeans. They've no, actually um, chewed it all. No. No. We're done here. Abort mission. I chewed all the little pieces because I couldn't spit all the little pieces. Yeah, out. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me and happy you took treating me with uh-huh. some amazing. I have a treats. feeling that you're not going to want to come back to our <laughs> suit anymore after the hospitality <laughs> that we've offered you with the red ginseng and well, the Well, I have a surprise for these guys. I bought some Australian food with me all the way from Ooh. Australia for them to Ooh. taste. So I'm not going to put that on this video, but if you want to watch that, you can go over to their channel and mm. watch them tasting some Australian treats that I bought with me. Well, today is my last day in Korea and I've had a lovely time while I've been here. Thank you to YouTube Korea for flying me over. I was here for a YouTube event, I did some TV interviews and newspaper interviews while I was here, but also really exciting, I got to meet some of my subscribers. We did a meet and greet at a cafe last night and I just wanted to give a little show you some of the things, these beautiful flowers were from one of my subscribers and look at this lovely drawing, what creative ability you guys have. And look at that. That's our family and how to cook that logo in the middle, thank you. And some Korean candy which I'll take home to share with my boys. And look at this amazing box of Korean sweets. So I'll try and get that one through customs. And you'll notice on here everything is written in Korean. There's no um, English, which surprised me. I thought that everything would have Korean and English. I don't know why I thought that, but I did. So you're really guessing a lot of the time. And the taxi drivers don't speak English unless they are an international taxi. So that means you have to get the name of where you're going written down in Korean before you leave your hotel or you're a bit stuck. Um, so that, that amazing box of goodies was from... Eugenia Kitchen and she is Korea's biggest cooking channel so go check her out tell her that how to cook that sent you over there and also I need to say a special shout out to Ashley she sent her mum who is here on business from Canada all the way over to the meet and greet to meet us to come and say hi for her so hi Ashley and thanks for sending your mum and I'll be back in Sydney tomorrow and I will see you all on Friday